Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jay Fanta and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we have another 100% showcase on a very highly requested unit and it's going to be on the Int Great Saiyan Man that is farmable on the Hurudagon Story event. So like always, we're always going to go... So like always, let's go through the card real quickly and then we can get into the damage test as fast as possible. I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long, but after looking at this card... Uh, I was surprised of how much attack he actually gets in the long-term battle. And so with the orbs given by Global, the extra large orbs, I was able to 100% him. And luckily, there isn't that many int units coming out in the future for free-to-play. So I might as well just give him some orbs. And, you know, you guys keep requesting it. So here it is. So anyway, his HP is 9,865. Attack is 10,378. And his defense is 6,906. He is a super int type. And of course, he is 100% with the Rainbow Star. Regular UI unit, so he's only going to be capped at level 100. His leader skill is super types attack plus 50% when HP is 50% or above. Definitely not a great leader skill whatsoever. Very outdated. You won't be seeing him used as a leader in your friends list unless, you know, they're forcing themselves or they're a new player, of course. Super attack level is at 10. And his super attack is Kamehameha, which causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises attack for 3 turns. That raise in attack is actually 50% increase for his own attack. And, you know, you keep stacking that up, getting additional super attacks. He's going to do a lot of damage, honestly. Sorry, his passive skill is Righteous Onslaught, and that provides himself attack plus 40%. Super type allies attack plus 20%, including himself. So you can just say he gets a 60% attack boost. For his hidden potential skills, I've given him level 6 additionals, level 15 crits, and level 5 dodges. Because all int units will eventually get the 5 dodge, just what their typings are given. So his link skills are Z Fighters, Patrol, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, Shocking Speed, and Kamehameha. Not a bad link set. You got Z Fighters for the 50% attack boost. Then you have Hero of Justice, which is attack plus 25%. Once you get those links up, that's 40% in attack boost. You have the nice Shocking Speed link, which provides key plus 2. And then Kamehameha, 2500 attack when Super Attack is launched. So with him, we are going to be running this team to support him as much as possible. Dabura as the leader, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 70% for all int types. His partner in crime is going to be a great Saiyan man too. Uh, she just provides all types attack plus 1000 for a passive skill. She also has the hero of justice, which is an extra 25% in attack boost. Unfortunately, she does not have the Z fighters link. So with that, we're going to have Super Saiyan Goku. With these passive int types, key plus two, attack and defense plus 25%. He also has the Z fighters link. So with them together, 25% attack boost, plus the Hero of Justice, that's already 50%, then you have Z Fighters for that 15%, and then you have Kamehameha, and then an extra 1000 attack, so honestly with his attack stacked with the super attack mechanic, he can honestly do a million, let's hope that he does a million in this video, and then for the rest of the units, we have Gogeta for the 120% stat boost, and then we have Bardock just to seal super attacks, you know, hopefully we can survive. And then we have the Great Ape, Nappa, which will also provide in types attack and defense plus 25%. Although the ideal, you know, rotation is Great Saiyan Woman, and then the Saiyan Man, and then the Buff Goku. Dabura is also nice as well, providing in types attack and defense plus 30%. So with that said, we are versing the Merge the Masu Doken event. Since he is tech type, so we get that type advantage. We also verse a type disadvantage, uh, which is bad, but also good since we can see that damage. And, you know, it's not going to be too hard because Gogeta does do uh, always type advantage the damage in terms for his passive. Um, but Merge Masu does have the, you know, damage reduction for his event. But hopefully it's not too much and we can bypass that. So he's the justice for the gods and we are justice for the Ningans. <laughs> Let's see. So first rotation is not the greatest. Um, but we can start stacking in a tack. I'm probably going to put uh, Great Saiyan Man last. Uh, then he's going to come in to the second rotation, which is Buff Goku and Great Saiyan Woman. So we can see that potential in damage. Gogeta should do some decent amount of damage. And just in case, even though we are sealing him, I will, however, just King Yama. Don't think we'll be using any items in the tech phase anyway. But we can see some damage if... Uh, Gogeta does one-shot him, of course. This Gogeta is not that great. I think he's like level 3 crit. Now, I was thinking of giving the same man at least 9 critical and 12 additional, but uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. We'll see. I can always change it, of course. But hopefully we can get additionals in this, just so that we can, you know, keep stacking. But he does get 
470,000 critical, which is not bad on a tight disadvantage. So now we just have to wait this turn out for another two turns. Uh, I will try avoid Super Tang with Gogeta as much as possible. Of course, this is the easiest part of the stage. So, you know, getting a, at least a little showcase on this stage would be nice. Hopefully Goku here doesn't show off too much. Okay, good. Oh, never mind. He's going to get an additional super attack. So, <laughs> this guy likes to show off. So, in the comments down below, tell me, would you give him level 12 additional, level 9 crit? Would you give him max additional, which is level 15 additional, and 6 crits? Let me know, because I am still undecided. Of course, this is actually my first look at the Great Saiyan Man. I didn't think at the start he was worth it. So, you know, I'm, I'm keeping my expectations low. But he looks promising with his, you know, raise attack and his boosts and everything like that. So we can not super attack with Gogeta, which is great. We are going to have to uh, use Bardock and, I mean, Nappa is Nappa. I mean, he's not going to do too much damage anyway. Now, with the rotation, Saiyan Man has to be last. So I'll probably put, uh, say, Woman first up. And then... Uh, buff Goku in the last spot since he isn't like the most important unit in the team although he does provide more boost than say women so I don't know <laughs> honestly with mm, I probably just do this honestly actually we gotta put okay so this is going to be my chosen rotation I don't want um I don't want Merge the Master dying from buff Goku, so buff Goku will have to be last here. Hopefully, we can get a pretty high attack stat. Let's see. 114,000. Honestly, that's really good here. 114,000 without any items. I'm really happy with that. Now, how much is he going to do? That is the real question. 578,000 in his attack with all the boosts and percentages and everything. It's going to get at 715,000 without a critical. All right, so now we're on to the last phase here. Again, we're going to avoid any super attacks with Gogeta right now. Uh, I guess Bardock can seal. It will just help us survive a little bit longer. And, uh, I mean, Dabura is always guaranteed a super attack at this point. Because <laughs> he, he super attacks at 9 key when you max out his super attack level. Bardock's doing a lot of damage though, 300,000. Kind of scared of Merge the Master dying. Alright, so here we go. This one is not the worst rotation, but you know, it could have been better. We could have got an extra 15%. Um, with that said, uh, I will, however, go Sasha. I know we sealed him, but <laughs> I'm scared of Grace A Women, honestly. Alright, so he's stacked his super attack twice now. So now he's at 148,000, which is even better than before. I'm hoping for a crit here. Hopefully we can get a crit. I wish I super attacked with Great Saiyan Woman now, since uh, she lowers defense, greatly lowers defense. Uh, but now he's at 550,000. Is that the same or from before? 727,000 critical. If he gets another critical here. Oh, 629,000. Almost soloed. Mercy Master there, and then I think Nap is going to take him out. So not a bad card, honestly. Uh, with additional super attacks, you can see he gets so much more damage with that 50% increase. So, you know, he's not the worst card ever I've 100 percented But with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave down in the comment section, was he worth it or not? Uh, are you going to 100% him if you had the orbs? Let me know. Leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. But as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay Fanta, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay fizzy. Peace out.